Now we start to then introduce a few more fillers. We'll start with the piece of new filler. I'm going to drop the back rail off. There's only one of me. I'm going to, I'm going to just help him with a, with a wing there. And I'm going to stand the other side. And what I'd like to spend to do is come in trot the first time because then he can keep a little bit more control of the shoulder and know that so, so that she learns that she can look but she's got to she's still going to listen to the leg and she's got to go where she's asked and understand that that Spen's got control of the shoulder from his leg not only from his hand you know then she did that nice enough I'd be sort of so just to canter, canter to the once to that Spen then we're making oxa but the most important thing is that they you know at the end of that on the flat she's starting to work in a nice outline when we start to jump a little bit I don't want Spen to be trying to ask for too much of an outline. I want the mare to be in self-carriage and carrying herself. So it's more important that she stays in front of the leg and carries herself. So right, we could just have one more there. Good. So now we'll, we'll introduce a back pole. It shouldn't actually make any, any difference. You know, it never ceases to amaze me when people have oxes this wide and a horse jumps that wide to jump a vertical. At the end of the day, it's not an oxer. So, so you can see then, I'd much rather, all right, spend at a, at a big distance, but he kept a nice rhythm. And that's exactly what I want of him. I want the mare to sustain a rhythm and not worry about, so she learns to jump a fence out of her own stride. So it doesn't matter, you can see. She had a lovely jump then. Don't worry too much about your outlines, Ben. I want the horse to be in self-carriage and I want her to actually be able to come down and learn to jump out of her own rhythm, that she learns to shorten and lengthen herself without the rider feeling that they have to do everything. So the horse learns to do a lot more for itself because at this height, you, you know, we need, we, we need to train a horse to carry us carry us and that it canters down to a fence and does it in a simple way. So you could just get your plank then if you can. Get your plank as well and, and then your oxer. And that's really what I would say. Transition, transition. You know you can see she's green, her body goes left and right. The transition's getting slightly better. Good. 